The race is on to fill retiring Senator Bob Corker's seat in Tennessee appears to be a rather close one. Real clear polling average has the Republican, Marsha Blackburn, the Congresswoman, leading the Democrat, Phil Bredesen, by about six points. Marsha Blackburn is with me now. How you doing? Good morning to you. I saw a poll Good that morning. Sh shows your opponent up a point. What's going on in Tennessee on this race? Oh, I tell you, there are going to be all sorts of polls. The only one that counts is November 6th on Election Day, and we intend to win this race, and we're going to win this race. Okay, so the president right now yeah. is in a four-state swing, and it, 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 his yeah. strategy is pretty obvious. He, he's putting immigration on the forefront of a lot of minds of American voters, especially when it comes to Arizona today and Texas on Monday. Is that a big deal in Tennessee? It is such a big deal. And, Bill, the reason is because of loose immigration policies, every state's a border state and every town's a border town. And in my race in the U.S. Senate, when Phil Bredesen was governor, he issued valid state-issued taxpayer-funded driving certificates to 51,000 illegal aliens. He made our state a magnet for illegal aliens. And people in Tennessee remember that. They did not like the policy. The General Assembly had to go in and change that policy, shut it down. And people want to make certain that we secure our borders and we end sanctuary city policies. Okay, so he's a pretty popular governor. Um, and, and this is a really good race. And I mentioned the issue about immigration. This is what our Fox polling found out just a few days ago. They put health care as the number one issue facing Americans. The economy is number two. And President Trump is number three. Take number two and number three for a moment here. Perhaps the economy slides to number two because things are going pretty well for a lot of folks right now. How does the president play in Tennessee in this vote? Oh, Tennessee appreciates Donald Trump. When you look at the fact that we have uh, Kavanaugh on the, on the Supreme Court, Tennesseans really like that. They supported Brett Kavanaugh. They wanted him confirmed. They are so glad that President Trump stood with him. And they really, I tell you what they do like too is Lindsey Graham's comments, how he came to the defense of Brett Kavanaugh and called out the Democrats for playing politics with this. So you hear a lot about uh, the Supreme Court justices keeping tax cuts, jobs in the economy, keeping that going, the immigration issue. Tennesseans want to get the Affordable Care Act off the books. And, Bill, the reason is because that has driven up the cost of health insurance in Tennessee by 176%. And, and you know what your opponent would say, yeah. you're trying to get rid of pre-existing conditions. And we can have that debate another day. But I just want to keep focus on what you just said here for a moment. Lindsey Graham is going on the road. I think he's going to 12 different states. And the primary reason for his travel is to remind people about the Kavanaugh confirmation. Does that then suggest, yeah. you know, in a news cycle that churns about every hour of every day, that the Kavanaugh bump may be dissipating for Republicans? No, it is not dissipating. I started my morning here in Chattanooga with a group of veterans over at the VFW. And one of the first things they talked about was having good federal judges and having good Supreme Court justices. And the reason it is so important to them is not necessarily about today. It is about their children and their grandchildren and their future and preserving these freedoms that they put on the uniform and they fought for. So they bring it up. Our Tennesseans bring this up in just about every single conversation. And I am really delighted that Lindsey Graham is going to be reminding people about this battle. I have to tell you, so many people, and especially women here in Tennessee, watch what was carried out against Justice Kavanaugh. And they said, what if that were my husband or my brother or my son? What if they were denied an opportunity? Why, do, why is he considered guilty? Uh, we're supposed to be innocent until we're proven guilty. And that really kind of struck that chord of fairness with people in Tennessee. And they want to know that people are going to be treated fairly and have okay. due process. You, you and, wonder, too, yeah. if that cuts differently between men and women. And we'll see what happens in 18 days. Last point on this. Sure. Now, President Trump did well two years ago in Tennessee. Should this race right now be at six points? Oh, I got to tell you, uh, Phil Bredesen has, uh, this is his fourth 
statewide race and he has that statewide name ID and we knew that this was going to be a tight race. He has all the media and the money working with him. Chuck Schumer, Mike Bloomberg, uh, the Democrat organizations have really pumped a lot of money into Tennessee. You're right, um, they're pumping it in here as, really as fast as they can. We're watching it very closely. Thank you for your time. We've invited Phil Bredesen you got it. to come and join us and we hope he accepts our invitation sometime soon. Marsha Blackburn, thank you. Live there in Tennessee. Thank you.